what far it is? Like, huh? Yeah, that's where these people's hearts is in the gutters. You say their mind's in the gutters? Yeah, let me find out one. Because there's a couple of more that I don't got it. Dude, it's ran off. Yeah, probably. That's fucked up, man. Give it, give it, give that man's wallet back, man. Oh, it's gone, man. If it's out here, all these homeless motherfuckers around here, man, that's just gone. Yeah, because, you know, people ain't got no decency no more, yeah, They ain't got no compassion. No compassion. Everybody heartless, man. Motherfuckers, you know, people just rob you blind without thinking twice. Yeah. Nobody's brother, ain't not no brotherly spirit. Right. Looking out for one another. Right. You know what I mean? Because like the scriptures say, you're supposed to be your uh, brother's keeper. That was the spirit of Cain. He, remember what he said? Uh... The Lord asked him where his brother was. He said, what am I, my brother's keeper? Right, yeah. You know what I mean? But that's what the, the America got. It got the spirit of Cain on it. The spirit of Esau. You know what I'm saying? They even got that old saying, you know, raising Cain. Raising Cain? And uh, Hillbillies used to say that too. Damn, that's crazy out here. Look at this, 1 John 2 and 18. Little children, it is the last time, and as you heard that Antichrist shall come, even now there are many Antichrists, whereby we know it is the last time. Uh -oh. But you see these Antichrists, they're not doing the will of the Father out right here. That's why you can't trust nobody. Motherfuckers rob you with the quickness. Yeah, if somebody don't believe in the truth, you can't even trust them. You can't let them over your house or nothing. Now, there's a scripture that says don't even let them in your house. I'll get that scripture. That's in John 2. Ecclesiastes 10 and 2. A wise man's heart is at his right hand. Righteousness. But a fool's heart is at his left. Quickness. Yep. That's why righteousness is called righteousness. You got the word right to right. That's why you got right and wrong. If, you know, people, they don't know the difference between right and wrong. They don't. They really don't. Actually, there's no difference. <laughs> you know? You gotta follow your heart. You be all right. That's there's what literally no difference. That's why when these wicked motherfuckers die, man, they, they have a celebration of videos and yep. parties, after parties. They get a face on a t-shirt. Right. Get them tattooed on their arm. And the scriptures say that, too, that you're not supposed to get printings for the dead on your skin. You know what I mean? Because they, they used to do that in the ancient world. Your homie pass away. You get a tattoo of him. Put his name on you. You, you, you know I mean, they do that with they. They doing it. They love uh, their loved ones, their family. But you're not supposed to do that. Is Jake always getting his uh, his dad's name tattooed on him? His mom's name? A picture of his grandma tattooed on him? Look at that. I got my son on me. You know well, we, oh, all, yeah. we all just done. Yeah, but right. You know, as long as you can acknowledge it was wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Matthew six and twenty. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor, moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Right. I'll go ahead. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right. That's why you're supposed to lay up treasures in heaven, man. Can't no thief come through here and steal our knowledge. We can't be so. You can't stick a gun to our head and be like, give me all that wisdom and knowledge you got. You can't take it from us. You know what I mean? You can rob somebody for, for their money. You know what I mean? Right, they steal your car. But we got, yeah, the true riches is wisdom and knowledge. Oh, uh, they're going to get you. True riches that we don't have to share with these people. It does oh, say, yeah. cash not your uh, pearls, you know, to foreign or yep. something, something to that. They get you? No, I'm already drenched anyway. My shoes are uh, yep. so oh, I got that. Uh, now we're drenching them with the Holy Spirit. I've already been baptized in the blood of Jesus. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The blood of Jesus. Me and God, we have limitations. As long as I pray to him every day, it's all the time. Pray to him all day and every day. God. Ooh, wow. Tell you. Tell me. Man. I got that. You're talking about dying, right? Man. Go ahead, grab, grab whatever you got. I got thrown off track. Yeah. This is uh, 2 Matthew 12 and uh, 37. Oh, shit. That was my place. What the fuck? Yeah, that was my place. Hold up. Man, I'm sorry. What the hell? 
Every one of them days, man. We just some crazy foods. <laughs> That's pretty salty. Oh, here it is. First mac would be six and I gotta 17. read this though. Go ahead, man. Oh, it says, but let this that but let this that we are spoken be warning for us unto us. That we so like it now will come into the current of the matters. Come on, a few words. Alazar. One of the principal scribes of H men in a well favored continent was constrained to open his mouth and eat to eat swan's flesh, for he chosen rather to die gloriously than to live strength stained with such an abomination. Right, so he re he'd rather get put to death than to break the laws and eat that swine's flesh. You know what I'm saying? Because our people don't even know these scriptures are in the Bible. Because you know, if you knew that was in the Bible, you might think twice before you ate that swine. You know what I mean? It tells you our forefathers, they'd rather die than to eat pig, you know what I mean? It says, spit it forth, he came to his own account to the torture. That's great. As it behooved him to come, that our resort to standing out against such things as are not lawful for life to live be his life. As are not lawful for life, the love of life to be tasted like. I'm going to put his words over. That's all right, just read it again. It says, as it removed them to come that are resulting to stand out against such things are not lawful for love and life to be tasted. But they that have the charge of the wicked feast for the old accountants, they saw him to bring flesh of his own provision such as lawful for him to use and make it as he, if he did, eat the flesh taken from the sacrifice commanded by the king. And in so doing, he might be delivered from death. And for the old friendship with them, I think what you trying to get like probably like lamb or some shit walk or say mine says pork or some shit. Yeah. I mean your family would get you like that. My mom got my uh, brother like that. He she you know, he don't eat pork. But one day one day she she made dinner for him and uh, she made spaghetti with pork in it and told him it was beef. And then she's and after the meal was done, she's like, That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, that's all. That's how they get you, man. It says 23. But he began to consider discerntly, and as he became his age, he, in the excellence of his ancient years, in the honor of his gray head, an old man with a check, you know? Not an old fool. It says, Whereunto was come in his most honest education from a child, or rather the holy law made and given by God. See? Therefore he answered accordingly and will them straightways to send them to the grave. For if he came not of age, said he, in any wise to dissemble, whereby many young persons might think that Alazar being four square years old and ten, were now going to a strange religion. And so they, through my hypocrisy... That's a strange religion. You can want to talk about uh, it's okay to eat pork. You know, say you celebrating Christmas, celebrating Easter. That's that strange, that's that, that's that strange religion. You know what I mean? That's going back to some ancient uh, forms of devil worshiping. That's crazy, bro. Like these people, they all claim to be Christians, but they, they worship, they celebrate Christmas, which is actually like straight up devil worshiping. Exactly. That's how crazier could it be than that? Exactly. When you look into this, right, you do the history on it, and it's clear that that shit was some devil worshiping. Right, right. And it's bugged out. Everybody put trees in their house. Don't nobody question it. Like, what? Why we got a tree in our house? Some heathen shit. Yeah, some heathen shit, bro. Ain't nowhere in the scriptures tell you put a tree a tree in your house. They actually tell you the direct opposite. <laughs> and it tells you that the Lord uh, hate hates it when you put a tree in your house. You know what I mean? Go ahead. It says. It says. For though for the. All right, dude. Girl. <laughs> that's that's like that, you see the hand like that? That's his, that's his star-crossed lover. <laughs> yeah. They was made for each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the best part right here. In the, I'm ready to get it. I so day through my proxy and desire to live a little long time in a moment longer, she be deceived by me and get a stain to my own age and make it vulnerable. So yeah, he will be, you know, take, 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 take that chip, they take, put, you know, push your death. You might as well just die because you're going to die any goddamn way. Either by the Lord or by the Esau. You might as well die, man.
Right. You don't want the Lord to kill you. That's why, yeah, that's why the scriptures say he that loves his life shall lose it. Yeah. So you love your life. I ain't taking You're you gonna lose that shit anyway. It says for it says for though. For though the present time I shall be delivered from the punishment of men, yet should I now escape the hand of the or so like yet should I not escape the hand of the Almighty, neither alive nor dead. Right, because it you it's better off. To be righteous in the, uh, the side of the Lord, you know, than the side of men, you know, because you have a lot of people just to get a little comfort on this side, you know, they, they might sell out just so they don't don't have to, you know, well, get put to death or just go through some discomfort. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, them comforts make you weak, man. They do. They make you they make weak. You soft. That's why you got a lot of these entertainers. These